The full review for College Football 25 is next month, and then a couple months later, the game is expected to release in July. So we are really, really close to getting a ton of information about this game just next month in May. We should see gameplay, we should get the release date, and a lot more. And it's been 11 years since the last College Football video game, NCAA 14, which was released in 2013. So there's going to be a lot of new features in College Football 25 that were not in NCAA 14. And some of these new features are simply because college football has changed over the last 11 years, obviously. So in order to create a realistic college football game in 2024, you have to show those changes. However, there's also some creative decisions on EA's end that is not a college football change. It's just something that they are deciding to put into this video game. So here are seven new features that will be in College Football 25 that were not in NCAA 14. The first three will be creative decisions from EA, and the remaining four after that will be simply because college football has changed over the years and EA has to put these in the game to replicate real life college football in today's world. So the first new feature is multiple broadcast crews. So every time you hop into a game in College Football 25, you won't have the exact same two or three guys calling the game every single time. It'll be at least two different crews. Charles Davis, who is a Madden announcer, he has said this. Kirk Herbstreit recently confirmed this as well. A variety of voices in the past, there's always just the, the same two or three people call every game. Now I think there's going to be different, uh, different broadcast booths for different types of games that you play in. And I've said it before, but the seven commentators slash analysts that we have for College Football 25 are Kirk Herbstreet, Chris Fowler, David Pollock, Kevin Connors, Jesse Palmer, Reese Davis, Desmond Howard. Now, not all of these guys are calling games. Kevin Connors has already confirmed that he's the studio update and halftime report guy, so he's not going to be calling any games. But we can assume that Kirk Herbstreit and Chris Fowler is going to be a duo, and then maybe like Reese Davis, Jesse Palmer, something like that. But we know we'll have at least two different crews calling games in College Football 25. The next new feature in College Football 25 that was not in NCAA 14 is real players. So I'm sure most of us are aware by now, but if you are not, College Football 25 will have real players in it. So players from real life college football will be in the video game. This obviously was not a feature in the previous NCAA football video game series due to them not being able to pay players to put them in the game. But now that obviously NIL is legal, EA Sports can pay these players to be in College Football 25, which is what they are doing. And I don't think a lot of people realize or at least remember that EA Sports announced this game in early 2021 before NIL became legal. So the original plan from EA was to make this game regardless of real players or not, which probably means they were going to have the actual teams, but they were just going to completely make fictional players kind of like they did in the past, except they weren't going to resemble real players at all. But then NIL was passed by the NCAA, and so now these players can be paid to be in College Football 25. And I wonder if that's the reason this game got delayed in the first place, because it was supposed to release in 2023, it got delayed a year, and I wonder if getting those real players in the game had something to do with that. Regardless, one of the biggest new features in College Football 25 that was not in the previous games is that we will have real players. The next new feature in the last of the three creative decisions from EA is College Game Day. So we know College Game Day will be in College Football 25. Those seven guys I mentioned earlier, the commentators slash analysts, a lot of those guys will be on Game Day. And to my understanding, I believe Game Day may have actually been in one of the video games in the past, maybe really early on. I've seen screenshots of it. I don't know if I've ever actually played it myself. I did a quick internet search and I couldn't really find it. So maybe if you know that it has been in one of the past games, definitely comment down below. But regardless, College Game Day was not in NCAA 14. So this is a new feature for College Football 25. And I'm really glad that EA is making this creative decision to include College Game Day because it has become such a big part of college football in today's world. It needs to be in this video game. Like waking up Saturday morning, turning on game day before the actual games come on at noon is just one of the best feelings. I'm relaxed. I'm not worried about work. I'm not worried about anything. I'm just ready to watch college football. So including college game day 
in College Football 25. It's just going to add to the realism and the experience of this video game. The fourth new feature, and this kind of begins the group of new features that EA is kind of forced to put in the game just because this is what college football is like nowadays, but the fourth new feature is the college football playoff. So obviously the playoff has been in college football for several years now, but when we last had a video game in 2013, it was not. So this will be a new feature, and it's a very big feature, obviously. The playoff is expanding to 12 teams next season in real life, so I assume the default playoff in the video game will be the 12-team playoff. However, we are expecting the playoff to be customizable, meaning you can go down to the original 14 playoff. We know a 16-team playoff is already supposed to be in the works for real-life college football, so I assume you'll be able to do that. I would, I would not be surprised if you do 24 teams just like the FCS, 8 teams, 10 teams, 6 teams. I expect you to be able to do all of those. And I'm hoping you can also just get rid of the playoff and go back to the two team like BCS style. But I also hope you can expand that thing all the way to 64 teams and do like a March Madness type thing. I've said it multiple times on the channel what customization is so important to the user. Being able to control and change things just makes the game so much more enjoyable. So I'm hoping the college football playoff in college football 25 will have a lot of customization options. All right, so the fifth new feature in college football 25 that was not in NCAA 14 is the transfer portal. And one could argue that this is even bigger than the college football playoff. So transferring was sort of a thing in NCAA 14, but the transfer portal that we know today was not created until 2018. And it's essentially become free agency in college football. Players are constantly moving around to different teams and they rarely ever actually have to sit out a year. So like I said, it's basically just free agency, especially when you combine that with NIL. So we know the transfer portal will be in the new video game. Hopefully it'll be a pretty big feature since it is in real life. And I assume it'll be in Dynasty and Road to Glory. So you might have players transferring out from your program in Dynasty or transferring into your program. And then in Road to Glory, hopefully we are able to transfer teams basically whenever we want to. So you might go to a smaller school. Maybe you initially commit to James Madison, you ball out your freshman year, and then you transfer to Ohio State or something like that. But I really hope the transfer portal is extremely immersive. Like I better be able to go into the portal in dynasty mode and basically just recruit players like I normally did. And then same way in Road to Glory, hopefully I can go in and like see different coaches trying to recruit me to their school because I put my name into the portal. So that kind of leads me into the sixth new feature for College Football 25, which is NIL. Like I said, the transfer portal has basically become free agency in college football, especially when you combine it with NIL. And we know NIL will be in College Football 25. EA has already confirmed that. We still do not know to what extent. I honestly don't know if NIL will be that big of a feature just because it's gonna be kind of hard to implement. You're worried about the legality side. You don't want schools like literally committing recruiting violations in this video game, even though I would love that, but the schools in real life aren't going to allow that. I have seen people say that since the NCAA is not a part of this video game, EA doesn't have to abide by their rules and suggestions and requests, which is true in the past video games since it had the NCAA in the title and their branding, they had to listen to the NCAA to make sure they didn't break any of their rules. So for example, in the past, if the NCAA told EA Sports, hey, we don't allow fans to storm the field after a win, so in this video game, you can't depict that either then the EA Sports would have to abide by that. And we know that was not in the previous game, so maybe that's why. But in the new games, the NCAA can't say that because they're not a part of this game. However, EA still has to listen to all the schools. So if the schools say, hey, we don't want you know, us committing recruiting violations, obviously, because that makes our school look bad, you can't put that in the game. So I don't think you know NIL is going to be a massive part of this game simply for that reason. It's a little tricky. The rules are still wishy-washy in real life. It's kind of the wild, wild west right now. So I don't think it'll be a big part of the game, but we do know it's going to be in the game. I also hope I'm wrong about that, though. I hope NIL is a big part of the game, and I hope that it's implemented well and correctly. So the last new feature in College Football 25 that was not in NCAA 14 are the nine new FBS teams that we have that will be in this game. In NCAA 14, there was 126 FBS teams. 
And then now in college football 25, there's going to be 134 FBS teams, which you may notice that's only a difference of eight, not nine. But Idaho dropped from the FBS to the FCS, meaning they will not be in the game which then that makes up the difference of the nine new FBS teams that have transitioned since 2013 from the FCS to the FBS. And I'm not going to go over all nine new teams because I've already done that in a previous video. I'll just link it down below. But yeah, nine new FBS teams that were not in NCAA 14. So it'll be pretty fun to play with those and see their stadiums and their uniforms and everything. In fact, the first two teams I'm going to rebuild are Kennesaw State and Sam Houston State. And those are two new teams, so it'll be pretty cool to see them. So lots of new features that will be in College Football 25 that were not in NCAA 14. And that's kind of a given since we've had an 11 year hiatus from the last video game. So hopefully College Football 25 delivers on these new features and just in general. Like I said, the full reveal is next month in May, so we're very, very close and the release is gonna be in July. Definitely subscribe to this channel to stay updated. I'm just gonna continue uploading videos about the new video game, and then follow me on Instagram, at bringNCAA back. I post everything there first.